Hello everyone, and welcome to the weird, scary, and horrible parts of humanity. Today we are looking at Joseph Cott and Michael Kutilek, one of the few duo spree killers of Eastern Europe, and the first killers in the post-communist Czech Republic. The pair murdered four people in 26 hours. Joseph Kolt was born in what was Czechoslovakia on the 7th of December 1957 in Rakovink, in what is now the western part of the central bohemian region of the Czech Republic, located between Prague and Pitsen. Joining the Czechoslovakian army, he subsequently joined the Federal Interior Ministry. While there, he began stealing from colleagues and the ministry. Disenfranchised with government life, he returned to the Czechoslovakian army, becoming a lieutenant. However, he commenced stealing and shortly afterwards he started losing his rank and was forced to leave the army. Kutilek was born on the 23rd of February 1951 in Prague. An intelligent child, as early as four years old, he began playing tennis and the piano. However, he began stealing from classmates. He was later diagnosed as a polymorphic psychopath. The duo were eventually sent to prison for robbery in Minkovice prison. They eventually met in 1988 while in prison and became very close. Kot promised Kutilek that once released he would show him how to make money through committing murders and then robbing the victim. In 1990, following the bloodless Velvet Revolution, which lasted between the 17th of November 1989 and the 29th of December 1989, the communist regime in Czechoslovakia collapsed. President Vaclav Havel, who was the last president of Czechoslovakia and would later become the first president of the Czech Republic on the 2nd of February 1993, provided amnesties to numerous prisoners following the Velvet Revolution in 1990. Kutichlek was released on the 6th of February 1990, while his comrade Kot was released on the 1st of March 1990. In just over two months, both men were back in prison as murderers. Three men, on the night of the 2nd of May 1990, both men travelled to Nirani, a small town of the Pitsen region of the Czech Republic, one dressed as a public security officer, the regular police force in Czechoslovakia until 1991, and one wearing civilian clothes. They were driving a Tatra 613. Tatra is a Czech vehicle manufacturer based in Koprivince, Monravia, and is the third oldest continually producing car manufacturer in the world with an unbroken record, having manufactured cars since 1897. The 613 is a large luxury car and was used for government vehicles, including police cars and ambulances, in both Czechoslovakia and the Czech Republic. Once in Nirani, they met a 70-year-old guard, Fratisek Korbel, who was guarding the gatehouse of a construction company, Stafenby Strodje, and asked his police officers to perform a routine check on the weapon which Kerbal was carrying. Requesting the documentation for the weapon, they claimed that there was something wrong with the documentation and confiscated the weapon. Corbell accosted the pair and accused them of not being real police officers, with Cot shooting him in the head. The shooting of Corbell was witnessed by a passerby who notified police. Following this, Cot and Kutilek drove towards Zibriak, 30 kilometers east northeast of Paitsen. There they found two 16 year old female hitchhikers, Dita Dubska and Sylvia Landova. Dubiska and Landovia were willing to go into their Tetra 613. Kot and Kutilek drove the hitchhikers to a remote forest near Lizna, forced them out of their car, tied their hands behind their backs and murdered them in a satanic ritual, stabbing Dubska and Landova 80 times. This was despite possessing Corbel's gun. Ironically, on the same day, the 2nd of May 1990, President Vakal Havel signed a decree abolishing the death penalty in the Czech Republic, with the last execution having been carried out in Czechoslovakia a year before. On the 3rd of May at around 1am, Kot and Kutilek drove to Prague, where they shot a taxi driver by the name of Pratisek B, who was 50 years old. The last name of the taxi driver was never released. 
Fantisek was shot in his car in the back of the neck and then robbed. They then travelled towards Karez in the Bitsen region of the Czech Republic, 55 kilometers southwest of Prague. At a truck rest stop named the Three Barrels, they woke up a British truck driver who was asleep in his cabin and, pretending to be police officers, Kutilek shot him in the head. When the driver slid out of his cab, they stole what they could from the cabin and drove off. The driver crawled towards other cars and drivers, who called for help and notified of the authorities. Cott was a suspect in the case involving the British truck driver, based on the police uniform and the appearance provided by witnesses. Knowing what was stolen, police went to Cott's house and found a toy car, which his child was playing with in his house, stolen from the truck cabin. Both men were promptly arrested. It was only when they interrogated them that they learned about the murders of Dubska and Landova. Kot denied his guilt and said that Kutilek was the murderer. Kutilek claimed that Kot was the murderer and said that upon shooting their first victim, Corbell, when Kot shot the security guard, I threw up. Kot told me that he thought I was a bigger, tough guy. We will most likely never know which murders each man committed, or indeed the degree of involvement of each man. At the end of 1991, judged at the Regional Court in Pilsen, Kot was sentenced to life in prison, and Kutilek was sentenced to 25 years in prison based on his testimony given to authorities. Both were then charged with property crimes in 1995 and subsequently sentenced to life in prison with the possibility of parole at the Regional Court of Pilsen. Both claimed, however, that following the abolition of the death penalty, that the maximum sentence that they could have been given was 25 years. In 2006, during a request for a retrial, Kutilek said that he was the only murderer and that Kot had not committed any of the four murders. The court rejected this motion. However, unbeknownst to anyone, Kutilek had already committed a murder prior to the release of Kot in March 1990. Soon after his release from prison on the 6th of January 1990, Kutilek murdered an 18-year-old teenager, fatally stabbing him in the heart. He would not confess to this murder until the 15th of April 2008, when he told another prisoner that he had committed an additional murder. However, due to the 12-year statutory limitation period, Kutilek's sentence was not implemented by the additional murder. The exact reason why he committed this murder is unknown. Kutilek attempted to get parole in 2012 but was unsuccessful. He died in prison on the 15th of March 2017 at the age of 66. Kot remains in prison serving his life sentence. Thank you for watching. Please do yourself a favour and hit that like and subscribe button and the bell icon to inform you when new videos come out. It helps more than you know and your support is truly appreciated. You'll also be seeing two other videos for you to check out. Until next time, stay awesome, stay classy, be kind to everyone you meet and have an amazing day.